Howdy, Lewis here with yet another magic manifestation, this one on learning to feed your soul. Well, what is the food or nourishment that our soul needs in order to manifest our goals and dreams and hopes? Well, I would say a good healthy dose of positivity and possibility. We need to stay positive about the possibilities that we can basically create or manifest anything we want. Case in point, when I started reading a lot of inspirational sayings, articles, books by wonderful, wonderful authors and spiritual leaders and teachers out there, I noticed that I started to, to win even small amounts on the New Jersey Lotto. Uh, I would get a lot of different uh, work assignments and a lot of positivity, a lot of abundance and prosperity would come my way, better friendships, better health. These things really did come to me as I was kind of inundate, inundating myself, saturating my being, as it were, with positive books, even if it's just a, a page or two here and there every day. Uh, for example, I would read um, work by authors such as Mike Dooley, Rhonda Byrne, Dr. Deepak Chopra, Esther and Jerry Hicks, Char Margolis, uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer, etc., etc., and I, I found that this type of material really, really did inspire me, and it kind of, I would say, it elevated and transformed my belief system into one that made me more magnetic. Uh, I uh, more magnetically attracted the goals that I, I had in mind. What it does is, I mean, certain goals may have limiting or negative beliefs behind them that are very, very strong, that you really have to deal with these beliefs consciously first and really work on transforming those. And as I said in another video, that can be a manifestation goal in and of itself to transform some of your limiting beliefs one at a time, of course. But if some of your goals do not have very strong limiting beliefs or negative beliefs behind them, they can easily be eradicated or transformed or kind of just obliterated just by saturating yourself with more positive thinking and more positive, the, the positive feeling that you truly can manifest anything. That your ability as a, as a creator and as a manifester is quite unlimited, universal, eternal. And, and these books that I've read, particularly Mike Dooley, his, his work helped me a lot, Notes from the Universe, I mean, this really does help you to become more magnetic in terms of attracting the physicalization or actualization of your, of your true dreams. It's important, read, you know, read, read these books every day. It, it, it really does imbue your psyche and your consciousness, your soul, with the ability, I believe, to manifest your dreams more effectively, more efficiently, more quickly, and more powerfully. A little water here. Um, I mean, even certain YouTube videos, I mean, even this one, feel free to play it over and over until it finally sinks in. Read the, read a particular note or two from Notes from the Universe by Mike Dooley that you like over and over again. Read a favorite uh, quote or passage from Char Margolis's books or her, you know, TV appearances that you can get on YouTube and, you know, watch and listen to these presentations and performances over and over again because they can only serve your goal of becoming, I'd say, more adept at manifesting your goals. Well, Lewis here with yet another magic manifestation note. Wish you peace, wish you joy. Have a great one. Peace out, my buds.